A long, long time ago, in a village lost to time, there lived a crimson oni and a blue oni. They were the best of friends. The crimson oni looked fierce, but was gentle like the humans. The blue oni looked human, but was reclusive, like an oni. The crimson oni wished to befriend the humans, but they were scared and threw beans at him whenever he came near. So the blue oni said to the crimson oni, Akka, I'll cause trouble in the village. You'll come and stop me. Then the humans will accept you. As planned, the crimson oni chased the blue oni away. The crimson oni's deeds spread throughout the land, and people finally accepted him. But when the crimson oni went to tell the blue oni the good news, he was gone and left only a letter behind. I went traveling. Don't come find me or they'll treat you as a naughty little oni. But don't worry about me. No matter where I go, we'll always be friends. And then he left. After a long time, the Crimson Oni was living happily with the humans. But in his heart, he wanted to bring the Blue Oni back home. The Crimson Oni didn't know where to find the Blue Oni. His search took him up the highest mountains and across the widest rivers. He found many traces of the Blue Oni, but the more he found, the clearer it became. The Blue Oni was hiding on purpose. So just as the Blue Oni had once done, the Crimson Oni left him a letter. Dear Owl, I've made lots of human friends now, and I want to have a big party for everyone. I want all my friends to be there. That means you too, Owl. If you don't want to meet me, you can just watch from a distance. The blue oni snuck back to the village and hid in the shadows. He saw the great feast and roaring fire and longed to join in. But though his stomach rumbled, the blue oni remembered the oath of old and kept his distance. Suddenly, he jumped. The crimson oni was right behind him. <laughs> hey, you're finally back. Come on, I'll introduce you. It's time everyone met my best friend. <laughs>